and welcome back everybody to episode 16 of our Bithynia Let's Play on the DLC map Wrath of Sparta with the overhaul mod Dimitrios Pelikolikis. Hey guys, hope you're doing well today and you're ready to get into this and you're having a great Wednesday. So last last episode we secured all of Macedonia, kicking out Empress and I think defeating one of their armies. No, 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 we've lo we lost one of their armies. We actually don't know where it's at, but um... Securing Argos before we end the uh, last episode. So, starting off, I think what we're going to do is take this hero and try and eliminate this spy that's pestering our army. And he sucks. He sucks at his job. Alrighty, so with that already not going our way, we can upgrade everybody. That would be pretty nice. Maybe... 700 for those 400 alrighty and then probably oh he's already got two of the same uh, alright all right, 600 left let's go over here and actually give it to these guys and that's it oh and the general we'll give it to the general alrighty that's all the money we have for this turn we were kind of close on it in turn, but we look at our military objectives, and we need to own 40 settlements. We're almost there. We're six away. Control these provinces, which securing this one will be pretty easy. It's just vassals here that we need to take, and uh, Lysimach keeps on leaving it undefended, so it should... He has an army down here. Kind of scary, but it should be pretty easy takings, even for just a 10-stack army. But, back to that, we gotta maintain 120 units and 30 naval units. We've already got the naval units set out and done, and the military units are coming along slowly. But they are coming along. So, with all that said and done, I think we are just gonna end our turn and see what happens. Down here in the south, we are recruiting more troops as well to sort of uh, guard our border with costs. Or costs, sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> well, Empress seems to be pulling back its forces. Ah, there's that big army there. Hmm. They want we us to join their war. If you ordered your worthy generals to act against these monsters. Yeah, I just can't. I don't really want to do that. We're already at war with most of Greece, or what remains of Greece's um, inhabitants. There's not many uh, minor players anymore. A enemy was wounded, that's nice, and we have a increase in rank for this guy. Sparatokos. Alright, so he is going down the master attacker. And I think, yeah, we're gonna go for the major one. Incarnation of Dread. Construction was the shrine was completed. It's nice. Public order is doing wonderful in all our settlements. Along with money, uh, food is not doing too nice, but we've got just enough to be safe. Speaking of that, let's actually... Five wealth from livestock. Industry, I think that one is. Culture, all sources, I think would be the best bet. We're going to go for that. Meanwhile... Yeah, okay. We're doing good there. So, right here. Excuse me. This region is building itself back up. We could honestly continue to push Empress. Go for their home province. I don't know if that'd be a good idea, though. Larissa doesn't actually have that strong of a garrison, surprisingly. But it would be pretty... They do have a full stack army, though. Heading our way, full of militia hoplites, one pike unit, but two polybullets, four slingers, and a shit ton of uh, pretty decent cav. That charge bonus is nothing to laugh at, especially since we have no <laughs> cavalry to speak of. Um, hmm. Didn't realize we were actually that short on cavalry. 
I think keeping that contingent of skirmishers is good, but we are definitely lacking in the cav. Now, we might be able to just suffice with getting these guys. Two turns. Yeah. Our army's going to be stuck here for a little bit, but that's okay. Meanwhile, he's doing great. And the king himself, or Basilis, let's try and upgrade his army. Or upgrade what we can of his army. There you go, 900. Just enough. So what we're going to do is probably march right there. And we can push to take Antigonia. Antigonia and then maybe uh, do some island hopping. Secure their home province. Probably scare them off quite a bit. All right, let's get another intern going. At the south, does it look safe over here? It does indeed. Good. Maybe we can harbor peace with uh, Kos or Kos. Welcome. Peace. The day is already old, and there is. Oh, there we go. We do have peace with them now. I accept. Will they take trade? They will not. All right. Um. So we're now at war with only Ro or um Conian, Tonatolian, and Empress. Athens is trying to hold its own. But I wonder if we can trade with Rhodes. Rhodes. They don't. Be welcome. Nah, they don't like us, sadly. Alrighty. No temple can stand upon just two. And our turn. I'm glad we built this army, though, and I'm going to keep it here. But we're going to get rid of the cab. We don't need it as, uh... It was, it's not as important as it was a second ago. Alright, let's end our turn, though. I am actually looking forward to hopefully ending this series within the next few episodes. We're not far away from the victory objectives. And eliminating Empress, I think, will give us a nice conclusion. Because, you know, from there on, you can pretty clearly see who probably would win if Empress is dead. But, uh, I have already done on my own one time a long a while ago where I played as Corinth Corinthos as a, um, the normal, uh, Wrath of Sparta played as Corinthos and I conquered the whole map. It gets pretty bogging at the end of the campaign, but I mean, if you're into that, you're into that. I don't know if it doesn't in this uh, overhaul mod, but it's still fun, either way. So, okay. Let's take our agent down here and try and kill theirs. We don't want them to give them... We don't really want to give them the chance of... Uh... Ooh, he actually did it. Wow. We don't want to give them the chance of really hurting us with their agents. Uh, oh, there he is. Okay, there's that army. As long as we got eyes on that army, I'm not super worried about it. I'm debating, though, keeping these javelins. Well, they're not horrible in the melee. Actually, they're pretty horrible in the melee, but uh, there's not much we can do about it. Let's upgrade the last bit of this army here. And we're going to march. It'll take you a good four turns to get there. It'll take you a good three turns to get there. We're going to go for Antonia and go south. Hopefully Argos won't be questioned or attacked. Okay. So. And it comes to infrastructure. We got five banishry. We're making thirteen hundred forty-seven from corruption. Good lord! Oh, you really wish, really wish we could reduce that. Holy heck! That is a lot of a uh, lot of corruption. Um. Okay, so all re tin wealth for mining all regions that would give a big boon I think to squalor and eh, we'll upgrade the shrine later that that should give us quite a bit of wealth actually Empress is moving its army north against us I'm not too worried about it um, other than the artillery pieces they have and the uh, cavalry if that militia line can bottle up our troops long enough, it would actually be a threat. It is a now, probably not a good idea to go to War Sparta. There we go. Alrighty. 
keep marching this army over here to loot and sack their home. Hopefully there's not a full stack there. Is there any actually, let's look at the mercenaries. Okay, so you got some, uh, I want to say probably Illyrian pirates, is that what they're going for? And then some normal standard Greek troops. Pretty cool. Over here, we want to get the industry one. Really want to min max sometimes. I love min maxing in this game. Or in Total War games. Um. So that gives outright, and that gives overall better. Four. So four squalor total. It'll give. Okay, what we can do is actually go for this one. No, that's only three sanitation. Is three the max? Three might be the max, actually. No, here it is. Ah, uh, but it gives Hellen Hellenic problems. Huh. Okay, what we'll do is we get one from there. I do say so myself. We're in a bit of a predicament here. Apollyon. It would be a good shrine for sanitation, but that's Hellenic culture is not good. It's not good at all. Let's go for... Yeah, I want to... Oh, guys. Uh, go for that, and then go for that. That province should, or that region should make us a lot of money, hopefully. Alright, now this army, level up the rest. Let's confront this Empress army, led by a man, Gelon. Gelon. That's a cool little name. Uh, alrighty, and over here, we can probably... I would like to say we can upgrade the farms... Maybe, maybe not. We can upgrade this farm, because it should have, yeah. What do we want to do? Grain pits, for sure. Meanwhile, elsewhere, let's go ahead and upgrade this army just to make sure that we can take Thassos when we decide to. Let's level, or recruit some more troops. That's a start to Bithynian hoplites, basically. And I think why can't we see his army? The gods would not allow it. Ah yeah, wow, Mas Macedon or uh, Demetrius, he is recruiting some higher tier troops. Sadly though, he just can't seem to get off this island for some reason. He's stuck here. He took Koyos or Koyos and uh that was it. I don't know where he's sailing to with that army, but it's taking a lot of attrition. But either way, let's end our turn and see if we can get a battle in today's episode. Maybe Empress will feel ballsy enough to challenge us. If not, we'll challenge... They are! They are going to attack us! And it says it is in their favor. Well, we're definitely going to fight this because this actually might be a pretty exciting and hard battle to win for us. Let's see what the auto-resolve says. Yeah, it says we're going to lose, so let's fight it. Which we might lose. We, we might lose. Our biggest threats, definitely the artillery, because those are basically anti-infantry, and uh, their cavalry. They outnumber us in the cavalry, and they have range on us. But they are attacking us, meaning, uh, hopefully, I don't know if the polyborus is actually a camera what they are. I don't know if those are movable artillery or not. Either way, though. We're going to set up on this nice little hill here with the, uh, probably want to get, yeah, two spears in front, but then intermix that with a sword, and then another sword here, because good lord knows where the freaking cavalry are going to charge at us with. Uh, we want... Nice little angle. Sure, why not? And then the skirmishers behind them. Maybe on the right side, just in case. Supported by the cavalry in the rear and the general. And then, yeah, the Thracian warriors. 
Fall acting as rear guard. Let's start the battle. Okay, so there they are. Let's have a look at the artillery. It is stationary. Haha. <laughs> okay, so their artillery, thankfully, cannot be put to uh, play. So it's purely defensive. Thank God. Because, yeah, 13 shots per minute, a lot of ammunition. Missile damage 98. That'd be quite terrifying to deal with. Let's have a look at the cab here. Looking terrifying as always. Man, I miss playing Empress. I played them uh, when I first got Rome 2. They were one of the first factions I actually completed in Rome 2. Like, won the campaign objectives. Space them out a little bit. And it was uh, super fun. I think I've told this before, but yeah. Their colors are nice. I love everything about them. Plus, in the Grand Campaign, which is where I played it, obviously, you are at a hell of a disadvantage. <laughs> like, it ain't even funny. So we're going to deploy that there. Skirmishers can probably take a bit of a back leap. Go for an angle to cover our rear cavalry even further back. Thracian warriors probably want to cover this side. Alright, it depends on where they go, what we want to do, honestly. Uh, cavalry... They're spreading their cab out. They're being smart. They are being very smart. Here's their general running in his uh, standard fashion. They're coming at us with a lot of militia. But they do outnumber us here. We're going to need to rely... We're going to need to rely heavily on unarmored troops to do a lot of damage. Angle back. I'm definitely worried about this left side here. Uh, let's position the cavalry over here. Speed it up just a little more. We want to be able to out range or out sling the few units they do have. That cav unit looks like it's going for a flank. Oh yeah, it looks like it's going hard. Or no. Oh no, it, it looks like it's going right in for a charge. Could be a bit risky. Get our troops over here. We're going to send... Nope, just those two. Get him around. There we go. Ah, uh, disengage one. Okay, the left side has been engaged. Engage one. Ooh, we're not going to catch that second one off. They're going to get a good charge in there. Damn. Okay, what we can do actually is swing this force around. Yeah, y'all definitely need to pull back. Thracian warriors come around the side here. We are actually doing a really good job of eliminating the cav on this side. And get this guy here. Get him in there. Okay, we broke him here. Actually, move out. Oh. Seven. Seven came back. What the hell? We really gotta be careful with the Thracian warriors. Actually, catch them. Catch them before they get that charge in there. And it did hurt some of us, but we should have caught them. Ooh, that pike unit needs to die. I did not realize. Yeah. Didn't realize this unit was handling that. Okay, go help them. Head over this way. He's pulling away some of his cav. That might be his mistake. Oh, no, it looks like he's coming right back in for another charge. Okay, that levy unit thankfully routed. Pretty easy. Okay, we've beaten their cab in a lot of areas. 
Oh shit. Pull the general over here. Try and break this unit here. We don't want to get in that kill zone. Ooh, our cav. We're starting to lose our cav. Okay, we're breaking them here. We definitely want to break the cab off. Try and reform our lines. Pull the general out. He's definitely losing too many men. Keep running, general. Go for that. Have these two forces here. Deploy like that. Slingers will target that unit. Pull the Thracian warriors out. We want them to re-engage again. Problem is they've got a lot of range still. Really got to work on the attrition that we're taking here. Is that a pike unit? That is a pike unit. Uh, all right. So they seem okay. Everything cavalry-wise, go for that. Okay, we broke that unit. Good. Calvary's going, let's go right for their range. And send that unit into the mix. Yeah, keep going. We're encircling them here. We're going to get them there. We've managed to encircle their melee line. Now it's time to take you all in for an actual close-up. Get some good kills in there. Our Thracian warriors in the rear will make quick work of the militia hoplites. Very nice. And over here to the cab. Yeah, we're chasing off their range. Go right in for that unit. Didn't realize the Slingers accidentally got involved, but it's okay. Oh, there are generals here. That's actually terrifying. We're breaking their units, though. We still need to deal with that artillery piece out there, but that's alright. And once we break this general here, that's who's... Yep. Ah, and I don't know how, but they've managed to separate themselves on this side, allowing our slingers just to hit them hard. Oh yeah, this will be nice. Hit that general. And this general is... Oh, he is thinned out. Oh yeah, we're closing in on him. Making quick work of him. Very nice. And we're just slinging into the back of these guys with no remorse. Have our general go for that guy. Actually, no, there's no reason to actually risk the general. The enemy general is dead. There goes one of them. Gonna reposition. Oh, this is no time to celebrate. Get in there. Actually, target that unit, please. We have all but destroyed the enemy. Very nice. Proud of our calf for not breaking either. There's only seven and eight men left in those two units. All right, so now comes the hard task. We probably need to go for that unit. Okay. 
Another general dead. Okay, what we're gonna do, get everything here. Ow. Sorry if you heard me there. We're gonna use our slingers. What is their range? Okay. We're gonna grab the cab, we're gonna send them up through the hill so there shouldn't be any sort of ranged, uh, we'll have the general aid the slingers. Okay, relocate just a little bit. Come over the hill. Go get them. Get them before they kill you, please. Oh my god, so much damage. Two units broke. We got one left. They're firing point blank range. Jesus. Okay. Alright, next up. These guys and the Thracian warriors, I guess. Uh, yeah, loose space. Oh, we can't do loose spacing. That sucks. You go there, you go there, you go there, you go there. Have the general come back over here. See how many kills these stupid things get. I promise you it's probably going to be a lot. As long as we spread out really far, it should be actually okay, but... Alright, the general can go for that unit. You're going to go for there. They are not shooting for some reason. Well, I'm glad that they decided to die peacefully. Oof, yeah, peacefully. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think that was a really nice battle, and uh, yeah, we won. But the cavalry... Actually, the biggest kills were those slinger units, which is interesting. I figured the cavalry were going to be the heavy hitters. Especially that one. Look at ours. Jesus. But there goes that Empress army, and it allows us... Uh, we lost the cav unit, sadly, but it allows us to push into uh, mainland Greece even more. It was a nice little battle. Empress mustered the force as best they could, but they just could not handle it. Oh, don't let that spy... Oh, the spy did something, that's great. Don't know what they did. Empress is doing something. Uh, it's working on... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're moving all their agents. And... Uh, thankfully, they've not done anything to us. They're too busy fighting Athens. Enemy wounded. There we go. Beautiful. Let's move our spy back up. We definitely don't want to have any accidental new armies come out of nowhere. Try and kill this agent here. Damn it. Okay, well, he sucks. Um, well, what we could do is delay our advance, set up fortifications, and recruit a new cav unit. And I think... Honestly, I think we should swap out maybe two of these Thracian warrior units. Well, I don't know why I did that one, but two of these Thracian warrior units for two of these uh, sword and shield units here as we need more of a solid front line that doesn't rely too much on the aggressive uh, flanking maneuvers. Especially if we're going to be dealing with even more cav. But, let's take a quick look at our settlements. Torona... Tyrone has a two squalor or two sanitation left, so it could take that hit actually. That would give us some nice wealth. Um, I think where I'm going to spend my money though is uh, I mean, that is five, a four, and then a four there. Let's recruit two more of them, and then uh, I mean, we could probably go with cheaper options here, but just keep getting the Thracian Warriors, why not? Thracian Warriors and that nah, should be fine. Taking Thassos should be pretty easy. But with that being said, I think we're going to call it an end to the video here. If I'm trying to rapidly spend my money. Yeah, I think we're going to call it an end to the video here. And y'all can look forward to us taking Antonia. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're just going to all resolve this real quick.
Okay, now we're going to end the video with Antonia secured and our first piece of land in Empress's home province secured. We're going to call it a video here. So, if you enjoyed today's video, like and subscribe as always. Hit the notification button if you're notified when I post videos like this or my other series. But without further ado, hope you all have a great day. We are having a great week. This has been Spartan, signing off.